Hi there everyone. It's just a small haul I've um, picked up from the works. It's um, mainly papers, um, but I'll show you anyway. So um, I found there was a 25% discount on um, this site that I found called Savendus. If you sign up to it, they quite often send you um, vouchers for different places and they've always got a 25% off for the work so if you can't find one as good as that it's a good idea just to go on so first thing I bought anyway this is metallic mesh it's got the um, sort of glitter going through it I thought it's good for a pound so obviously with the 25% off it's 75p I'm not going to say it for all prices but you get the idea um, but yeah, I thought that was good for making reefs and stuff. Um, the next thing I bought were these two washies. They're only three metres, but I thought they were quite cute. Um, I also then bought this little edger die, which um, I don't actually have edger dies, so that's my first one, so I thought it was quite good. And then I bought some um, craft bags, 4x4 four four cards, or small embellishments that I make. I'm in the process at the moment of changing my, um, putting all my rubber stamps out of their packaging and I'm putting them in um, cello bags with a card on front with everything stamped on it so I can see what it is. Um, and I'm using A5 cards so I picked up a packet of these cello bags while I was there. Um, I then bought these rainbow uh, adhesive pearls. I've got some bigger ones but these ones are absolutely tiny. I thought they were ideal for little projects and stuff just when you just want a little bit of bling I have started using some of these paper pads I'm about to show you so some of them will have loose sheets in them but I didn't get them from every crafts a pound so I got them in the works so they were three pound each um, but then obviously I got 25% off each so that makes them what to 25 ish so here's the first one So I've, I've bought a lot of Disney stuff recently. I absolutely love the stuff they're coming out with at the moment. Um, I definitely want the Christopher Robin range that's just come out as well. But that's that's a range I will probably buy more than one of as well. Because uh, from what I've seen, it's all really cute stuff. So that was the Mickey Mouse one, and then I bought the Mickey Mouse non-foiled one. I think these papers are quite quite good quality actually. Um, I thought these would be good for albums, cards, scrapbook bits, you name it. And I like that it's got Donald Duck in it as well because you don't really see a lot of Donald Duck nowadays. That's a nice journaling page. And then you've got the cutouts at the back, which I think is a good idea. We'll make a little bit of ephemera to go with it all. And then I've got the princess one. Oops, sorry. Again, it's got a bit of journaling in it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could cut this in half and make them two journaling cards, really. The 6x4 ones. All the different princesses, Rapunzel. Quite like that, you could use that in quite a different lots of cards really. And again they've got the cutter parts at the back. And to go with that one I bought the foiled one as well. So I believe the one in All Things Washy, the um, 6x6 is the same as this, so you've pretty much seen the same. But um, all the bits I've been getting from All Things Washy is kind of, it just all coordinates with all this, so, which is really good. And there's a few bits in, from there that you've, I've never seen here, so yeah, so 
The next one, I've used a few from this, so it's got a couple of loose sheets in it, um, which is my beloved Winnie the Pooh. Absolutely love that. I think that'd be really cute with a picture of a new new baby or something up in the bedroom. Oh, that's another one that's been used a little bit. And then the cutter parts at the back. And then I bought the foil one. This one's gold foil, whereas the one that I bought Winnie the Pooh from All Things Washy was like a copper colour. So it's nice to have a bit of difference. So sorry for the glare, guys. It's... If only they made lights that didn't glare. I love that Tigger one. And then the last two of those of that range I bought was the Minnie Mouse because you can't have Mickey without Minnie. But this is similar to the one that was the 6x6 one as well that I got from All Things Washi. So yeah guys if you want things that go with these pads it's good to head over and have a look what she's got. Her stock changes all the time so when you see it you kind of have to write on it. And then I also got the foil version of that one. But I mean, the ones that haven't got the Disney characters on, you can use for anything really. Make uh, nice backgrounds on things. You could really, you could also, if your journal's small enough, you could always make. Um, dividers with them so yeah I bought all those ones and then I bought two 12 by 12 paper pads um, I did buy this in a 6x6 I believe I hauled it on the on the channel um, but when I saw it in a 12 by 12 I knew I had to have it because I really love the papers in this and these are double sided and they repeat halfway through so you'll see the other side in a minute Love that rainbow. I think that's really cute as well. And that one, you could cut it apart if you wanted to and just use it as separate squares, really. And then this is where it shows the other side. So this is the other side to all of those. I really like that one for the birthday balloons. It's a little bit more vintage than I would normally go for, but I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of um, a circus top for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's, it, that's just the way it is, I suppose. And then the last one I bought was the Rustic Asp Atmosphere, which is all um, like wood, woodlands and stuff like that, and floorboards. I thought they were good for things to do for, for gentlemen or more vintage type projects so I'll quickly flick through this one as well I thought that would be good for like um, if you was doing a journal that was going to look like a door or you know a box or something I like that one as well, the heart Sorry, I don't know if I've got it all in shot. I do apologise. And then it starts repeating the other side now. I like that one as well, thank you.
Oh, I like that one. I thought it'd be good for something like Christmassy. Well, I think it's the white wood that makes it Christmassy. So guys, that's my haul. Thank you very much for being here. I um, hope you all enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you again soon. Bye.